Okay, so today is the flip side of brain recovery, brain injury recovery. So, yeah, so I had a brain tumor discovered and removed a little over a year and a half ago, and it was a highly successful surgery, and a lot of people are happy for that kind of news. Um, but I thought, and we are too, but I thought that uh, it's time to share the not so happy side of the of things, uh, specifically pertaining to brain injury. So, uh, the last couple of days was filled with a lot of connecting with people and a lot of good things, uh, about four hours on Saturday and about mm, five or six hours yesterday. And this is me today. I haven't showered. I slept 14 hours um, because I, my body was exhausted even after less than what most people work on full-time jobs. My body and my brain just are exhausted and so my body needed the 13 or 14 hours of sleep. Uh, my brain which is a part of my body also, uh, still hasn't fully recovered from that kind of activity from the length uh, of time. And so what happens is, um, for me anyway, is and a lot of people with brain injury is that if we overdo it even with the good stuff there's a price to pay and for me that price is and many of us that price is that uh some of the unseen functions and often misunderstood functions of our brain um are lessened in in how well they function and for me that means a uh, loss of coordination and emotional dysregulation and difficulty with finding wor with word finding uh which makes this video especially challenging because I'm not talk. First of all, I'm not talking to a person. It's very difficult to talk to a camera. And secondly, because I finding words is more difficult, but I thought I'd give it a try. So loss of coordination, um, for me, that is that the right side of my body and the left side don't work as well together as when I had a healthy brain. Um, I'm not complaining by any means because I'm able to walk and uh, for the most part, function okay uh, <clears throat> but I'm just raising awareness um, which is the reason for this video is to educate friends and family as well as to um, maybe help others with brain injury to feel like they like you aren't alone not to compare my journey with anyone else's. Um, 
So an example is yesterday morning at church when I was making a cup of my cup of coffee, I my I was suddenly unable to work the carafe. Y'all all you had to do is pump it and hold your cup of coffee. But I started to struggle with even that and thankfully I have an observant husband who noticed and he stepped in and he was able to finish and put the coffee cozy on my cup and uh, the creamer and the uh, the hot cocoa that I like to have and that's small very small to what other people struggle with but it's just an example uh, so that people understand um, Yeah, so I so the loss of coordination is another is one thing. Emotional regulation or emotional di um, dysregulation is another thing that is very common with people with brain injuries. Uh, for instance, today, um, and I've just really felt like. I haven't wanted to connect with anybody, uh, mainly because of just not having the mental energy for that. Um, also, because I think it's just human. You don't want people to see you when you're not at your best, and I'm definitely not at my best today. Uh also some disproportionate responses to things that normally wouldn't have upset me and um that I that really ups that I got really upset over today <sighs> um But, you know, I've read somewhere that over 50% of the United States population is estimated to have had brain, have their brain injured at some point in their lives. And it may even be a lot higher than that. I can't remember, uh, but the thing about that is that I find interesting about that is because of what I've learned about brain injury and how it can affect one's emotions and one's actions and one's decisions. I, and having gone through it now myself, looking back, I can see just how judgmental I have been in my life toward others, uh, how quick I've been to write them off as having been lazy or just a bad person or, um, or childish or, or whatever. And, um, now having been through it myself, now I find myself wondering if they had, if their brains have been injured at some point in their life, uh, I suppose it doesn't matter. The important thing is that we not, that we refrain from judging each other and just realize that everybody has um, an unseen battle of some kind that they have faced or are facing and do our best to be kind to each other and maybe even get to know each other so that we can understand and the other person, um, of course there are exceptions to that, uh, for obvious reasons, but, um, we can't do that with everyone, but if we could do it just a little bit more of that, I think we'd be in a much better place. So, um, as a world, as a community, and even as a family. So, 
yeah, so uh, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say and even some things that I had not thought of saying. So with that, I'll end my first ever video. Peace out.